In this month's studio vlog, I'll give you a little update about some projects, show you some behind the scenes of running my art business, share some of my recent favorite tools and equipment that have been making my artist life so much easier, give you some sneak peeks of some of my recent adventures, and of course, cats. guarantee Vader is going to start howling like within seconds because <laughs> he always does that when I'm recording. Okay so for this month's vlog I wanted to do something a little bit different. I think it would be fun to post a studio vlog at the end of each month that sort of recaps what has been happening during the month because I'll be posting longer vlogs over on my other YouTube channel, Sarah in Scotland. I figured I would maybe show you like clips, like a sneak peek of whatever I post there, along with the other projects that I have been working on and behind the scenes stuff of like running an art business. Okay, I know I'm staring out this window a lot. It's because it's so gorgeous. It's like, Sarah, come out and paint. Oh, I just remembered I have laundry out there. I should go get that soon. Who just appeared? Is that your brother? I know, baby. Loki used to love being held and now he like squirms around and wants to jump down right away. And like, he's like, no, I'm an independent man. How can I escape? Floki is nine months old now. Hi, Vader. What was it? Did you have a good day? You smell like grass. No. Oh. So, if you have any questions about anything you see or running a business or whatever, I keep an ongoing list of questions I get. And if I get enough, I do like a Q and A video or I'll just answer them in the comments, you know? Since I didn't show this last month, here's a little clip of me painting the Patreon postcards for July. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain, beauty in the Monday. I know it looks like I'm basically a postcard manufacturer, but honestly, these monthly postcards keep me on my toes. I get to explore a single theme multiple times in a row, and that brush mileage is massive for my improvement. And now, there's something in the as for August, the theme for my Patreon is waterfalls. Just some quick studies. I think I posted a time lapse of this on Instagram sometime. Just playing with different mark making and layering techniques and stuff. So a quick little update on my Patreon postcards for this month. Um, these are the in progress ones. So this is just one layer of watercolor so far. Um, here's a couple that are almost done. And you can see that this month I am experimenting with mixed media. My postcards always reflect my personal experiments and like things that I'm going through as an artist each month. And since I've been doing so much mixed media lately, I thought it would be appropriate to have that as part of my Patreon postcard experience. We recently went to Wolfie's friend's wedding. Wolfie was one of the groomsmen, so he was wearing a wedding kilt. Oh yeah. What? Oh, I'm just a bit of meat to you. <laughs> In a kilt? You look so handsome. <laughs> I love you. In a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first wedding we've gone to since like 2019, I think. And really the first time we've dressed up at all. It was a really beautiful wedding and we had a lot of fun. We also recently went on a couple road trips and day hikes and I did a whole video about this place over on my other channel. It's such a beautiful, enchanted forest. I highly recommend you go watch the video if you love forests. 
Floki follows me when I go for my neighborhood walks. <laughs> but of course, if I get close to him and try to pet him, he runs away like, you know, I'm embarrassing him in front of his friends. But then if I keep going, he just chases me down the street. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh my God, why is time going so fast? I don't know if it's just because I spend so much time alone in my studio working nonstop that time this summer is... We are in a time warp. That's what it feels like. Weeks go by so fast. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So there's a couple things that I wanted to talk about for today's vlog. 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 Why can't I say that word without making it weird. For today's vlog, I wanted to talk about a couple things that have made my life so much easier and or improved my quality of life. One thing that has changed for me a lot during the pandemic is that I spend way more time editing, working at my computer. Um, and because I've been doing more Skillshare classes, more YouTube videos, more Patreon content, and all of those things combined are what is keeping me afloat during the lockdown. Before the pandemic, I had lots of plans to do like live workshops with people and pursue art shows and galleries and all sorts of other stuff. And the pandemic hit obviously, and like that all came to a halt. <laughs> um, and it was really scary for not just me, for millions of artists around the world. Like a lot of people had to suddenly change their business, change their, their game plan. Um, and so I, along with many other artists have just been adapting to this new way of living. I've been pursuing the online realm of the art world because from my tiny little town, it's kind of the only option I have to make a living doing this. But I have seen a tremendous growth in my business and also the way that I connect to people online, which is honestly the most fulfilling part about it. I know I can't be the only one to feel really lonely during this pandemic, even though I have Wolfie, I have my kitties. Um, Wolfie's family isn't too far away. Okay, let me get back on topic. So diving into the internet realm of the art world has benefited me in so many ways. But again, I find it very difficult to spend eight plus hours a day sitting at my computer. The funny thing is like before I quit my day job, I was sitting at my chair eight hours a day, if not more. And I quit my day job and I was doing art and photography full time and I was on my feet all the time and I felt amazing. And now I'm back to <laughs> sitting at my computer. Um, life is full of cycles, you guys. <laughs> But I think the biggest thing that I've changed is my workspace. If you've been watching my vlogs or my videos for a while, you've probably seen many different rooms and setups and <laughs> workspaces that I've had over the years. And most recently, I've taken over this little room, have some shelves, have some pegboards, have some... I did a whole tour about this, which you can see in the video linked here. But now there's a really exciting update for me to show you. I finally have an electric standing desk, which I have been wanting for years. I can't tell you how many times I've put an electric standing desk in my shopping cart only to second guess myself or decide that no, I don't really need it. <laughs> but even if I just calculate the amount of hours I've spent sitting at my desk editing videos this year alone, it's upwards of 300. It really takes a toll on my body. And so I was really excited and surprised, honestly, when FlexiSpot contacted me out of the blue to see if I wanted to try one of their electric standing desks. I quickly looked them up on Amazon and saw that they have super high reviews. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. And thus began a few days of unexpected office renovation, or more like a facelift. <laughs> so let me show you how this new desk fits into my tiny little office studio. 
Of course, this meant I had to play Tiny House Tetris, which any of you who live in a tiny space know that in order to add a new piece of furniture, you first have to move other things out of the way. So I had to get rid of one of my desks. And I also decided to take the opportunity to reconfigure my pegboard situation to better suit my needs. Definitely saving this box and all of the foam and packing materials because this will be perfect for sending canvases internationally someday. I had to be really careful during this process because I have a super bad back, but I took my time and that's probably why it took me a couple days to do this whole thing. It's not at all because I suck at reading directions. Nope, not at all. As far as instructions go, they were actually pretty easy. You just have to pay attention. Oh, did it upside down. Fellow Spoonies out there know that a process like this can be very daunting and absolutely exhausting. If you can't tell, this desk is sturdy. Before moving on with the office facelift, I decided to make sure the desk actually works. So plugging it in was a breeze and testing it was so satisfying. With my track record for technology going wrong, I was a little skeptical, but thankfully everything worked perfectly. Oh, hey, I'm just, up here. So time to stop procrastinating and actually finish the studio. There was no point in leaving both pegboards behind where the standing desk would be since half the time it would be covered up. So I took the chance to reorganize things and it's so much better now. But I admit that I hate doing stuff like this because I have really crappy tools. There's something so satisfying and wonderful about having a freshly organized and efficient space. With the touch of a button, I can raise and lower it. I have already found that my energy has gone up just from being able to move around a lot more. Before I got this desk, I was frequently sitting for eight hours a day, trying to get up and stretch here and there or take like food breaks, but it was never enough. And I would find that by the end of the day, even though I had been sitting and working at my computer, I was just utterly exhausted. As tiring as it was to put together because I'm just a weakling, I really appreciate the fact that this desk is so sturdy. A big piece of advice I have though is getting a fatigue mat or something like this which actually allows you to gently rock and move your feet. This allows you to change the pressure on either hip or knee or ankle, whatever, so you don't feel as stiff or tired by standing for so long. If you guys want to check out this desk for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. Right now they're doing a sale, I believe, until September 3rd. So if you're interested, go check it out. And I just want to say a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sending me this amazing desk. The fact that it's electric makes raising and lowering it so fast and easy, which is the main reason I was holding out on buying one for so long, because I didn't want a manual one knowing that I would have a ton of stuff on the desk and I would be moving it up and down so often. I frequently need to sit in order to rest my back, but I want to stand as often as possible. <laughs> so this is the perfect solution for me. 
Right now my routine is to sit for a half an hour and then stand for a half an hour. And over time I'm finding that it's getting a little bit easier to stand for longer. I had friends give me the advice that I shouldn't try standing for a whole day right away and I can definitely see why. I've been living with the desk now for two weeks and it's been amazing. I also added a new shelf back here. So before I had four of these small Ikea shelves back to back, side by side right here. But this is my new giant shelf, <laughs> my new industrial shelf. So this goes back to there, it's really deep. And I have all my packing materials, bigger um, Peshad boxes and stuff up there. Yeah, it's just been really great. And then my other um, little shelf in the corner, which I may move, I may change that out, I'm not sure. Okay, now let's move downstairs to my other little painting space and I'll show you my very special easel. You all might remember that back in the day, half of the living room was my office slash stream space. This whole corner was mine. <laughs> And now it's my painting area. So basically half of our living room is for my painting and the cats. And Wolfie gets this little corner of the couch right there. This is where I work on my larger pieces. So my pathway series at the moment is in progress. And this whole corner is full of my stuff. But I have recently reorganized all of my paint and it's much better. I always dream of having a big studio to myself, but in the meantime, we're saving a lot on rent and I'm able to work in here, so it's fine. So on the topic of tools, materials, equipment that I love, I have never actually shown you guys my easel. I think it has appeared in a couple videos throughout time, but I've never done a closer look or like talked about it. This is my easel. It's called Artristic. There are various attachments that you can buy and add-ons that you can get to allow you to hold canvas, boards, paper, like everything. I only have three of the arms on here right now because I was switching out tall canvases and stuff a lot. Anyways, you can loosen the various um, knobs back here and be able to rotate, tilt it, and twist it. And the reason that that is amazing for someone like me, I use a lot of like very fluid mediums. So I like, or I need to be able to let them flow. Like gravity is my friend in my paintings. By the way, this painting is not finished. Please don't judge me. So if I'm working on a big canvas, I tend to work rather quickly and loosely. And I don't want to be constantly taking off my canvas off the easel, putting it on the floor or like leaning it up against the wall like I used to do. So this easel is like a godsend for me because it is all in one place. It's all securely attached. I can tilt it, twist it, do whatever I need to do. And it is just brilliant. I am not affiliated with them. Like I bought this, they aren't paying me to say this, <laughs> but I've had plenty of comments about it and I kept meaning to show you guys. <laughs> The base of the tripod is metal. It can get really, really tall and um, it feels extremely sturdy when you're painting on it, which is very important to me. The only thing is that it is super, super heavy. When I first bought it, I was really excited to take it out and paint outside with it. But after one use, I was like, no, that's not gonna happen. But honestly, it is the perfect studio easel. It lives in here. I'm more than happy to use it inside. So another thing that I've been obsessing over are these pen clips. You can probably find these at a lot of different stationery stores, but I really never knew they existed. <laughs> these ones are awesome because they are made out of flexible coils and you can put any size utensil in there, any size tool. So brushes, pens, pencils, giant markers. So when I'm going out to sketch, all I need to do is grab my favorite tools and attach them. Because I very often go for quick little walks around the neighborhood. This is an awesome way to make sure I don't forget things. You can get a single, a double, or a triple. I have all of them. <laughs> I got mine from cultpens.com. I'm not affiliated or anything, just 
feel like sharing that because it's been a really huge bonus for my sketch adventures. Oh, he's sweet. Ow. I know, I'm sorry. I will get it filled up right away, sir. Were you waiting outside? <laughs> Floki came in right after he heard me pour the crunchies in the bowl. Because those are his favorite. And look at what a mess you make every day. <sighs> look how big Floki's getting. He's like, his body is almost the same size as Vader, but his head is much smaller. <laughs> you want more already? You just had it. You just did. Hey!